This is a 36 metre dredge pontoon uh, with a 110 tonne lever backhoe dredger on. We have two crew, including myself, uh, and we uh, alternate on the operation of the dredge. And we have three crew on the tug who um, help us out on the dredge as well, and they move us onto the dredge claim areas that we're dredging. Well, I started with uh, tide gauges and putting paint marks on the dipper arm of the, of the digger. Uh, we don't need to do that anymore. As an operator, when we're operating, we're looking at a three-dimensional view of our work below the water, and uh, we can accurately dig to the design depth, no high spots. We don't need to stop very productive just because of your continuous operation of it. With the system, we can go back to the exact same place that we left the day before or the last time you were working. So anyone that can use a smartphone can, can operate this system, not a problem. Um, this was new, but uh, it was very simple for an operator. We're dredging in the Dunedin Turn Circle, which is what they turn the ships around in to, to bring them against the berths. So it's critical that we get um, the whole floor level down to eight metres, and we have to remove in some places a metre or 1.2 metres of, of material. The Trimble Marine Construction System is uh, a new programme that we're, we're using um, from what we were using and the, the tool itself is just such a step forward for us um, with accuracy and, and hitting our target RL is, is critical. If we're over dredging we've got too much material going out to sea and that's a cost. If, if we're just getting removing the, the material that we need to, then, then it's a win-win for, for, the, for the port company. This tool has, it's like having a camera underwater. I'm able to get within 100 to 200 millimetres on, on the sea floor of our target depth. We can dig in, in one area and then move across half a bucket and pick up the, the spillage and cut at the same time. The Trimble system itself um, calibrates for the tide what, what our target depth is. It also has a pitch and roll, which enables us to set the, the barge up accurately at any one time. Navigating around the Trimble system, it's really user-friendly. Um, even for people who aren't too computer savvy, it's, it's very easy to pick up. I was up and running with the trainer within an hour. Um, such a, a tool that I'm, I'm used to now that I wouldn't, wouldn't want to go back to without it. Port Otago, is one of the longest channels in New Zealand. Everything we do relies on having a dredged channel. Being able to make the channel wider, deeper, adds value to our customers. We can move more cargo. We can move it at the right time so we're less constrained by, by tides and really provides a foundation for the port to be sustainable. The channel is around eight metres deep, so we need that to be eventually over 10 metres deep if we were to move all our bulk cargo into Dunedin, which is a strategic goal, which will be facilitated by dredging the channel. So any, any vessels that come in into Dunedin up the channel, they need to turn around either before or after they berth. And having that turning circle deeper allows more flexibility with, with when ships come in and when they can depart and how, how much cargo they can hold. So the Trimble system, we load in our, our plan of where we want to dredge and make sure they're on the right claim at the right time so we can prioritise our dredging, make sure we um, don't over dredge so we're not wasting time and effort and potentially uh, you know, need to make sure we stay within our resource consents as well. Positioning time is, is quite significant with the dredging operation so we don't want to spend too much time positioning. So every day, if, if we're mining through systematically or, or dredging through systematically through a claim, um, we want to dredge to a pattern. Um, if we miss spots or have to come back, that's extra positioning time and that could be a day here, a day there of, of wasted effort. So the installation was handled by, by SciTech as a dealer for Trimble. Um, the the workmanship, workmanship through SciTech was really good. They worked with us on how we wanted the, the um, the configuration to be in terms of things that were customizable and we ended up with a solution that was really fit for purpose and, and does a good job. The system has been essentially, it just runs. We turn it on in the morning, 
we don't have any major issues. Um, a few little learning curves, but we were all brand new with the software too. But good support through through SciTech, being able to dial in, assist us with minor troubleshooting. But we haven't had any major issues. It's been it's been a good piece of piece of kit. The system meets my expectations. It um, it performs well, and I would I would buy it again. Now look, I've been quite proud of the team and the way that they've picked up new technology, embraced it, and are using it to provide a good productivity benefit for the operation. Um, it, was, it was good to see Port Otago um, going away from a, a traditional approach of trying to minimise spend and actually say, no, let's, let's spend the money on technology to drive an improvement and, then, and it's paid off and it's continuing to pay off. Mm -hmm.